Let's make an adorable hanging photo garland. For this project, you are going to need a Brother VC500 color label printer, a We Are Memory Keepers frame punch board, some watercolor, bright watercolor, or a dye of some sort, even food coloring would work, some yarn to use for the actual garland itself, some yarn to make pom-poms, some scrapbook embellishments, sequins, uh, embroidery, thread and a needle scrap piece of cardboard to quickly make a tassel for the bottom of our garland. So keep wrapping and wrapping until you feel that your tassel is actually going to be thick enough. And for the bottom of my tassel I decided to use a very vibrant watercolour ink to make it a super bright pink which I'll show you just after this. Okay, so whenever you're finished, you will need a small piece of yarn to attach to the bottom of the garland, uh, like so. And you will also need another small piece of yarn to wrap the tassel and secure it all together, like so. Then you will be able to trim the ends and we will start the dyeing process. So just keep wrapping and secure your tassel using this method just to keep all the random pieces of yarn together. As you can see I've just needed to use a binding clip to ensure that I don't accidentally um, kind of attach the yarn that I'm going to use for hanging in the wrapping just to make sure. So. While that's done, you can cut your knots and then trim your, your your tassel. And you can even those bottom pieces out. You can make a shape if you want to. I'm just going for like a flat base for my tassel. And now we get to the super, super fun part that I'm excited about. So get some of your dye and put it into a little jar of water like so. Just a couple of drops will give that a quick stir and just dip your yarn tassel in there. Oh hello, excuse you. No that's not for you Dopey, get out of it. Oh thanks Poopers. And we'll dip and we'll dip and we'll keep Poopers out of it. She's the creative director so of course she has to get involved with all of my video tutorials, every single one of them, in some way or another. So I when I had dipped my, get out of it, dipped my yarn into there, it was very drippy so I ended up hanging it on a tap just to let it drip into the sink and because it was watercolour it, it washed away easily. And now we are going to just create the Polaroid frame using the We Are Memory Keepers frame punch board and it makes uh, an, Insta an Instax frame beautifully. All the instructions come with the punch board and I love it. Now I'm just trying to figure out where everything is gonna go. So I have some layered fabric embellishments, some yarn pom-poms that I have created, that beautiful tassel. And now I'm gonna create the photograph, print it out with the Brother color label printer because it is actually got a sticky back which is fantastic and exactly what we need. I trimmed a white piece of card to use as a backing to my Instax photo frame so the photograph will be printed on that and then the front of the frame will be stuck on it. Just letting this print, I adore this part of the process, absolutely love it, especially because it comes out the bottom of the screen and then out the printer. So it'll look like this pretty much. All I need to do now is attach it to my back, get some Bostic Micro Dots. They are absolutely fantastic and my go-to adhesives for anything scrapbook related really. This is going to allow me to attach the front of the frame to the back of the frame. And because these are Micro Dots, they are so teeny weeny that you actually, in this strip, you're going to end up covering the entire piece with tiny Micro Dots. They really are fantastic. So I'll just attach these to all parts of the back part of the front frame, if that makes sense, yes. 
you can see what I'm doing so it's fine and I'll just trim some more strips of those micro dots just to ensure that I am really covering that adhesive to attach to the photograph and the back of the frame and to just make sure that I don't stick the photograph on kind of skew if I will actually stick it stick the photograph to the front of the frame using those micro dots first then peel off the backing and attach it to the back as you can see voila done how awesome is that I love it so now we are going to just tie secure knots in the top of the frame like a big loop so we can hang it no problem um, I think this is actually kind of massive so I'm gonna end up taking that off it's too big I don't like the way it's hanging so goodbye that pom pom that you just saw was actually created following a tutorial via Mr. Printables blog so I will link that in the description and the post so you can go and find those beautiful colors now we are going to use thread to attach sequins and the tassel at the base I've used an embroidery needle just to make it a lot easier to push through but you can just poke it through that type of yarn and I will tie that securely and because of the way that super chunky yarn is created I can actually hide the tied parts of the thinner yarns inside the chunky yarn it's kind of like a chunky yarn in a French knitted doll situation so let's just figure out where everything's gonna go and start sewing those pieces in Now we are going to use some fabric glue, quite a liberal amount, on the back of the photo frame that we created just to attach it to the garland itself. Now I apply plenty of pressure uh, just to ensure that everything kind of sticks the way it should. And repeat this process for all the little embellishments that you have. Now you can add as many of these little kind of fabric and crochet embellishments as you like. What It's basically whatever the heck you want it to be. Make it as quirky as possible. Something really fun to hang in your craft room or wherever you craft. Or even a bedroom, a kid's bedroom would look, oh this would look fabulous in a kid's room. So keep going until you are really happy with your garland. Et voila! I am thrilled with how my garland looks. That little love uh, embellishment is from Maggie Holmes Create Paper and I just love how it turned out. I think it looks amazing. If you enjoyed this tutorial please hit the like button or rate it five stars in the blog post or check out any of my other tutorial posts.